thank you for joining me for a story. My name is Shelley, I'm an actress and I am from Mad Alice Theatre Company. Now, the story I have chosen to share with you today is a story from my classic stories book. And the story is about something you would have for breakfast on a very cold winter's morning. Now, some children have said hot chocolate, others buttery toast with jam, but on a cold winter's morning, I like nothing better than a bowl of porridge. And this story is called The Magic Porridge Pot. It was written a long, long time ago, and it comes from a country called Sweden, way north of the United Kingdom. So, sit back, relax and enjoy. Oh, and there are a couple of bits where it would be fantastic if you could join in, so please do. To begin, once upon a time, there was a poor old farmer and his wife. And one day in winter, they realised they had no choice other than to sell their one last cow. Mmm. I think you can all do a moo every time I say cow. Yeah. Now, the reason they had to sell their one last cow, mm, was because they had no money in their pockets and no food in the cupboard. So the next day, with a very heavy heart, the poor old farmer went off to market with his cow. Mm. But on the way, he met a very strange little old man who was wearing a big black hat under which the poor old farmer could see the bright glint of his eyes. He had a long white beard, so long it went right down to his toes, which must have been so cold because he was not wearing any shoes or socks. And over his arm, he was carrying a battered old pot. Mmm, that's a fine cow, mmm, said the old man. Is your cow, mmm, for sale? Oh, uh, well, uh, actually, uh, as a matter of fact, she is, said the farmer. Mmm. I'll have that cow mm, in exchange for this battered old pot. And he dropped the pot on the floor with a loud thud. Well, the farmer took one look at that battered old porridge pot and one look at his beautiful fine cow. Mm, and he was just about to say, uh, certainly not when a voice came from the pot. Take me, take me. Should we give that a go? You ready? Here we go. Take me, take me. Well, the farmer gave himself a shake. <sighs> it was bad enough having no money in his pocket and no food in the cupboard but to be hearing voices as well. And he was just about again to say, uh, certainly not, when the voice spoke again. Can you join in? Take me, take me. Well, it was at that point, the farmer realized that this must indeed be a magic porridge pot. And he said in his biggest voice possible, most certainly, and he bent down, 
picked up the pot. But no sooner had he done that, the strange little old man had vanished along with his cow. Mm. Now, the farmer was very worried on his way home. My goodness, he had no idea how he was going to explain to his wife that he'd managed to exchange his cow, moo, for a battered old pot. And sure enough, when he arrived home, oh my goodness, his wife came out with a lot of cross words. And as she was giving him a jolly good telling off, suddenly the magic porridge pot jumped up on the table and said, ready? New words this time, goes like this. Clean me and polish me and you will see what you will see. Do you want to give it a go? Here we go. Clean me and polish me and you will see what you will see. Well, the farmer's wife realised, yes, this was a magic porridge pot. So she got a cloth. Can you get your cloth? And she cleaned the pot on the inside. Give your pot a clean on the inside. Cleaned it on the outside. Make sure you don't miss any bits. She took a polish. Get your polish. A few squirts. <laughs> Polishing cloth. And she polished it all over. <laughs> Give it a good polish. Until it was as shiny as a new pin. No sooner had she done that, the porridge pot leapt off the table, ran out the door. Well, the farmer and his wife did not know what to do. They sat by the fire, did not speak a word. Not only did they have no money in their pockets, no food in the cupboard, no cow, moo, but it seemed they didn't even have a magic porridge pot. Now, very close to where the farmer and his wife lived, there lived a rich man. Very rich, very greedy and very, very selfish. He spent all his days eating food and counting his money. He had lots of servants. And it just so happened that this day, his cook oh, <laughs> was in the kitchen mixing up the biggest mixture of pudding mix you could imagine. Oh, oh, oh. This pudding mixture is so big, oh, I don't have a part big enough oh, to put it in, said the cook. What do you think came skipping through the door at that moment? The magic porridge pot. Oh, my goodness. The fairies must have sent you, said the cook. And in she poured the pudding mix into the magic pot with a loud thud. Well, no sooner had she done that, the magic porridge pot ran out the house right down the street. And before the cook could chase after it and say, Oh, j -j jolly well, get, get, get yourself back here. It had vanished. Now, can you guess where the magic porridge pot took that pudding mixture? Back to the farmer and his wife. They were so delighted to see their magic porridge pot. And even more delighted that it was full of pudding mix. Well, the farmer's wife cooked it up and they had plenty of food for days. And the little porridge pot slept by the fire. Winter passed, spring came, and one day, late in spring, the porridge pot woke up, jumped on the table and said, I think you can remember, here we go, clean me and polish me and you will see what you will see. So she took her cloth. Have you got your cloth? She cleaned it on the inside. Give it a clean on the inside. Cleaned it on the outside. Give it a clean on the outside. Get your polish. 
few squirts, psh, 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 polishing cloth, and she polished it all over until it was as shiny as a new pin. You've guessed, no sooner had she done that, the porridge pot leapt off the table, ran out the door. Well, it just so happened that day this rich, selfish, greedy man was sitting in his big hall counting his piles of gold, his piles of silver. Oh my goodness, I have so much money, I don't have a piggy bank big enough to put it in. Can you guess what came skipping through the door at that moment? The magic porridge pot. Oh my goodness, oh, the fairies must have sent you. And he picked up his gold, dropped it into the pot with a loud chink. Picked up his silver, dropped it into the pot with a loud chink and added with chink, 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 lots of bags of money. No sooner had he done that, the magic porridge pot ran out of the door and vanished down the street. And the man did not even have a chance to chase after him and say, um, Jolly, 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 get yourself back here, you, you, you dreadful thief. Now, can you guess where the magic porridge pot took that money? To the farmer and his wife. They were delighted to see their magic porridge pot and delighted to see all the money. They now were able to fill their pockets with money, to fill their cupboards with food. They even had enough money to buy a new cow. Mm. And they actually had enough money for the rest of their days. Now that little magic porridge pot, he slept by the fire, summer came, summer passed, autumn came, autumn passed, and then one day in winter, the little magic porridge pot woke up, skipped out of the door, and was never seen by the farmer and his wife again. Now, I really enjoyed that story. It's one of my favourite stories and I hope you did too. I'm going to leave you with one thought. I wonder where that magic porridge pot went next. I'll leave that thought with you to think about. Take care, keep safe and well, and thank you for joining me for a story. Bye.